What is good everybody? Chris, Chris goes outdoors. Here at the Unknown Pond Trailhead. We're heading up today, we're doing a loop. Maybe I'll pop the map up here somewhere. There it is. So we're doing a loop, we're going up to Mount Cabot. And on the way to Mount Cabot, there are two, um, from what I hear, really nice viewpoints uh, called the Bulge and the Horn. So I figured we hit them on the way up. It's about an 11 mile trip, roughly. So we're gonna get moving. Clouds in the sky, rain as possible, and uh, yeah, let's do it. Just walking on the unknown pond trail, you can see behind a little bit, there's uh, just some sections of it that are pretty overgrown coming out on the trail. The trail's still easy to follow, but just something to be aware of. So we're just off the Unknown Pond Trail. You can see it right back there, and uh, up this direction. This goes to the Unknown Pond tent site. I'm not gonna go up there because I have no intention on camping there tonight. So, moving along. Looks like, yeah, you can definitely see the pond through the, uh, the brush here, but I'll wait till we get through the trees, get a better view. All right, we've made it to Unknown Pond. Found a little clearing here. It's beautiful. Give you a uh, give you a little look around. Not bad, huh? That mountain over there. I do not believe that is Cabot. So there's two little peaks off here. They call one the bulge, one the horn. I believe that's one of them, and that's where we're heading. So I'm gonna loop around. Maybe there's some other uh, nice little views around the pond too. So if there are, I will be sure to get them. All right, we're on the Kilkenny Ridge Trail. It's a nice uh, gradual elevation coming up here. Nothing too crazy. We are at the intersection of Kilkenny this way, the horn up that way. So. Let's go check it out, see what the horn's all about. All right, we've made it on top of the horn. Super, super cool view. It's been uh, cloudy and overcast all day. Um, views were questionable, but we're good. We're good, let me give you a look around. I'm gonna be honest, not 100% positive what's behind us. I do believe that right there is the next one, uh, the bulge. And I believe over there is actually where Cabot is. So I'll turn over here. You can see the presidentials. I'm pretty sure you can see Wombeck uh, from here too in this direction, but crazy. You can actually see, you won't be able to see on the GoPro, but you can actually spy the Madison hut from here. Incredible view, incredible view. Fantastic. <laughs> you can see from the video on the horn that the bulge looked like it went straight up, leveled off, came back down. I had some people pass me just a couple seconds ago. They said they didn't even know that they went over it. There wasn't much of a view, if any. So I believe I have found it based on uh, this little decoration we got right here. You can see down there, it goes down that way. Levels off here, goes down this way. So I'm assuming this is the bulge. You get there very, very quickly from the horn. So off we go to Cabot. Made it to the top of Cabot. Interesting little climb on the way up here. Not too bad, but got me sweating. The dog looking at me funny. But not too much to see up here. Hey buddy. <laughs> I don't know where you came from. Walking up the trail, I'm right near the cabin between Cabot, Mount Cabot Summit, in the cabin here. And uh, I was coming up the trail, stomping around, and I just heard <laughs> come through the trees right across the trail, or right down this side. And I just walked by, I was trying to, I recorded footage, but like after I saw him run in the woods, 
walking by. I don't know where it went, but 100% it was a bear. I saw it. Whew. If that don't get the adrenaline pumping. <laughs> Ooh. Well, unexpected. I have since regained composure as a borderline terrifying bear running. Or I guess more bear run away. But you can see over here, fairly decent view up here. Might be able to see down there the cabin, so making our way. So we made it to the cabin. I'll show you right here. Just ran into a uh, guy who's gonna be staying here tonight. I've been debating doing so myself, but I think I'm just gonna go back down to the road. I do want to get over to Wombeck tomorrow. We'll see how that works out. Kind of cool. We get the little double bunks. A couple windows, a little flashlight up on the roof there, some matting and stuff. Kind of cool. I guess there used to be a wood burning stove here. We have a little area you can cook at. Got a little table here. I was told about this the uh, German Cosmopolitan. Got some newts. Nice. Yeah, cool looking, uh, cool looking area. Show you the porch. So the trail comes right from behind there. You can see it looks like it'd be a pretty cool view up here in the uh, sunset if there was much sun, which there is not. <clears throat> it's a nice little fire pit down there too. See, fire pit down there. There's a toilet over here as well. So, yeah, pretty nice. I guess also worth mentioning, uh, this is the rain barrel, I believe, they were talking about for a water supply. Uh, it's cracked open, so it does not look promising. This is a little lookout on the way down, I believe it's still technically on the Kilkenny Ridge Trail. If you're heading down toward the, I believe it's Brunel Notch Trail, but just a nice little lookout. Similar views to up above, just a little further now. Come to an intersection of the Kilkenny Ridge Trail and uh, a little bit confusing the Mount Cabot Trail which also looks like it goes down there. Uh, that section is no longer maintained. I believe that is the area that said the actual beginning of it is on private land and the owner I guess is not too happy about it and they shut it down. So you can see on the sign or you should have been able to see it said on the sign unmaintained in that direction. So if you come up this way, it's unmaintained going down, but if you go straight up, you have to go that way. <laughs> so just so you know, I'm pretty sure I'm in a velociraptor field. Made it back to civilization, uh, back to the parking area. Not quite the parking area I was at, or uh, less than, I don't know, Two tenths of a mile from that, but this is the other parking area where you can park for the big loop. Works out pretty well, so we're uh, done for the day. Pretty cool hike. Uh, this was definitely, in my opinion, this way it would probably be easier going up and coming down. Uh, the unknown pond feels like it had a lot more elevation gain, but I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. But. So we made it back to the Unknown Pond parking lot. I'll tell you the time, mileage. So a grand total of 11.34 miles, which when I calculated from the map, it actually said 11.4, so this thing was pretty, pretty close. 11.4 miles in six hours, 10 minutes, 41 seconds. Not too bad, for me anyway, maybe for you. Speedy. That wraps it up for the day. Hopefully we'll back tomorrow. See how it goes. Till next time, this is Chris. Chris goes outdoors. Like, comment, subscribe, because 
that's friendly, and take care. We'll see you next time.